Recently, I talked about an insider leaking information about the way developers acted at Blizzard. Apparently, they hate gamers, have nasty attitudes, and are generally just really crappy people, but Blizzard is now being sued over fostering a frat boy culture at the company, unequal pay, retaliation towards employees who do things executives don't like, and usually when we hear about situations like this, something was filed by one employee who was upset that maybe they got fired or they were frustrated with the way people at the company were acting. But this lawsuit was filed by the California Department of Fair Employment. Blizzard has had some really bad news lately, but this is pretty massive for them. I'm not going to be able to read all of it. There are a lot of pages here, but I did want to read a lot of the most important details that are in this. It starts off with the introduction, saying headquartered in California since the 19th 1970s, where the nation's strongest anti-harassment, equal pay, and other equal employment opportunity protections exist for employees, defendants should be a safe haven workplace in the video gaming industry, and sexism has plagued the male-dominated industry for decades and increasingly so in recent years. I actually massively disagree with this. The gaming industry has gotten so much more inclusive over the years, and I think it's ridiculous that they start started off with this in their introduction that, oh, over the past couple years, the industry's gotten even more sexist. But it goes on to explain what Activision Blizzard is. It says they're headquartered in California. It is one of the largest American video game developers and distributors, with approximately 9,500 employees and over 100 million players worldwide. It says, scrolling down, unlike its customer base of increasingly diverse players, defendants' workforce is only about 20% women. Its top leadership is also executively male and white, and the CEO and president roles are now and have always been held by white men. Very few women ever reach top roles at the company, and the women who do reach higher roles earn less salary, incentive pay, and total compensation than their male peers as evidenced in defendants' own records. So it does provide a compensation table talking about the executives like Bobby Kotick and Dennis Durkin. There are a bunch of names here. But scrolling down, it says defendants have also fostered a pervasive frat boy workplace culture that continues to thrive. In the office, women are subject to cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. Now, some of this wording sounds like overzealous prosecution, and California is known for this. Blowing situations out of proportion is what loses legitimate cases, and their wording like all male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol on the usual is just hard for me to believe. While it could have happened, I don't know if I'm fully convinced that all male employees did these bad things. I'll read Blizzard's response in a little bit, but they're basically saying that all of these situations are inaccurate and are being taken out of context and twisted, but even if they weren't fully accurate, clearly there's an issue within the company if lawsuits like this are being filed against them. There are truly disgusting things that are, um, that are documented here. But it says, unsurprisingly, defendants' frat boy culture is a breeding ground for harassment and discrimination against women. Female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, including having continually uh, to fend off unwanted sexual comments and advances by their male co-workers and supervisors and being groped at the cube crawls and other company events. High-ranking executives and creators engaged in blatant sexual harassment without repercussions. And in a particularly tragic example, a female employee committed suicide during a business trip with a male supervisor who had brought butt plugs and lubricant with him during the trip, and defendants continuously condoned the quid pro quo and hostile work environment, the message is not lost on their employees. Numerous complaints about unlawful harassment, discrimination, and retaliation were made to defendants' human resource personnel and executives, including to Blizzard's president, J. Allen Brack, 
but defendants failed to take effective uh, measures in response to these complaints. There are a ton of big accusations here. It sounds truly like the presidents at Blizzard, like J. Allen Brack here, didn't care, didn't take a lot of these complaints seriously. So it says after more than two years worth of investigation, DFEH issued a cause finding on June 24th, 2021, and in the course of their investigation, they found evidence that defendants discriminated against female employees in terms of conditions of employment, including compensation, assignment, promotion, termination, constructive discharge, and retaliation. They also found that female employees were subject to sexual harassment. So they are basically saying, we took two years to investigate all of these claims, and there is evidence in each of these claims, which is absolutely ridiculous to think about, that the higher-ups at Activision Blizzard didn't try to fix situations going on. They didn't actually take any of these situations seriously. So it goes on to give several examples of comments that males made to females at the company. It says a female employee noted that random male employees would approach her on defendant's work site and make comments on her breasts. And female employees working for the World of Warcraft team noted that male employees and supervisors would hit on them, make derogatory comments about rape, and otherwise engage in demeaning behavior. This is absolutely not acceptable. This should not be happening um, at a company as big as Activision Blizzard. This, um, you know, leads into the most heartbreaking situation that is listed here, the most heartbreaking part of these claims. It says, in a tragic example of the harassment that defendants allowed to fester in their offices, a female employee committed suicide while on a company trip due to a sexual relationship that she had been having with her male supervisor. The male supervisor was found by police to have brought a butt plug and lubricant on this business trip, and another employee confirmed that the deceased female employee may have been suffering from other sexual harassment situations at work prior to her death. And specifically, at a holiday party months before her death, male co-workers were alleged to be passing around a picture of her vagina. This is absolutely disgusting. I genuinely cannot believe that all of this happened and nothing changed at the company. It is heartbreaking to hear that these executives and just people in general at the company are so full of themselves that they think they didn't need to make any changes to how the company was ran after all of these situations happened. Now, Blizzard did decide to respond to a couple of news outlets that were asking for comment because this situation has completely blown up on social media. I mean, there are tons of people saying they're now going to boycott Blizzard products, but this is their response. It says, we value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that offers inclusivity for everyone. There is no place in our company or industry or any industry for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. We take every allegation seriously and investigate all claims. In cases related to misconduct, action was taken to address the issue. The DFEH includes distorted and in many cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past, and we have been extremely cooperative with the DFEH throughout their investigation, including uh, providing them with an extensive amount of data and ample documentation, but they refused to inform us what issues they perceived. So they were required by law to adequately investigate and to have good faith discussions with us to better understand and to resolve any claims or concerns before going to litigation, but they failed to do so. Instead, they rushed to file an inaccurate complaint, as we will demonstrate in court. And I hope for Blizzard's sake they do prove that all of these things were inaccurate and false and twisted because there are so many people already saying they're going to boycott Blizzard.
So it says the picture the DFEH paints is not the Blizzard workplace of today. And the wording is very tricky there because they're saying the workplace of today. And what about three years ago or five years ago? They're not even denying that all of this stuff happened. They're basically just trying to say that bad actions were in the past and we fixed it. Clearly, if you read between the lines, you can tell they're not outright denying a lot of the accusations that are being raised. So it says we've updated our code of conduct to emphasize a strict non-retaliation focus, amplified internal programs and channels for employees to report violations, including the ASK list with a confidential integrity hotline, and introduced an employee relations team dedicated to investigating employee concerns. They basically finish it off with saying we are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity opportunity employer that fosters a supportive, diverse, and inclusive workspace for our people, and we are committed to continuing this effort in the years to come. It's a shame that the DFEH did not want to engage with us on what they thought they were seeing in their investigation. So that's Blizzard's statement. It will be linked in the description as well, but I had made a tweet talking about the situation very briefly, saying this is a disgusting situation, that there are tons of awful accusations being being made against the company right now. So I just wanted to read a couple of people's um, initial responses. Remember, any person, group, company, virtue signaling have skeletons hidden. Somebody said, I guess that's what they've been up to instead of making a good expansion. Meanwhile, thousands are playing a 15-year-old iteration and loving it. Somebody said, I hope Blizzard loses and criminal charges are pursued. Bobby needs another yacht, that's why. I mean, these executives at Blizzard don't care about their employees, they don't care about their fans, they only care about making as much money as possible. Somebody said this actually had my jaw dropping the more I read it. I'm actually shocked as hell. This is worse than the Ubisoft allegations. Either they need to be shut down or completely changed. And I do think that they need to be completely changed. We don't have any dates as to when these situations happened. Um, one of those situations could have happened five or six years ago. They could have been as soon as only a couple of months ago. We truly have no idea. I hope for the sake of Blizzard that they take this whole situation seriously and they actually are dedicated to making change we can see that blizzard isn't even denying some of these things happen but they want to avoid taking responsibility and it looks like they haven't compensated anyone that's been part of situations in the past clearly this is why california has filed against them and even if they change their corporate culture now they need to make up for past situations and it doesn't look like they've done that but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.